You ever have a bad week and then just as soon as things start to get a little bit better, they get a whole lot worse? Notice something different? Sometimes people are just mean. Got some, uh, some flautas today. I just came from outside and I wanted to share that I picked my first cucumber. <laughs> this is the first cucumber from my garden, so this is such a proud little moment. Apparently you're supposed to pick them before they start to turn yellow. I also learned that to harvest them, you just press against the stem and then it releases it. I hope it tastes good. Notice something different. Oh my gosh, I just filmed a reel for Irresistible Me, which is an extensions brand. And I have not had extensions since I won Miss Montana USA. I feel like a new person. <laughs> this is my dream hair. I don't even have all of them in. I got the dark blonde color. I'm gonna link them in the description with a discount. Oh my gosh, I'll also link the exact set that I got. You ever have a bad week and then just as soon as things start to get a little bit better, they get a whole lot worse? That would describe my week. It was very challenging on a personal level. I experienced some things that I truly did not even know how to respond to. Really, really challenging things. And then I get a DM today saying my website is not working. So I go to check it out wondering what's up. Deleted, gone. I try to log in to WordPress. My password's wrong. I reset the password, I get back in, everything gone. So right now I am in the process of trying to figure out if it's possible to recover my website. And if not, then I have to start from scratch. But the silver lining is that I built that website myself. So I learned a lot from that process and there's a lot I would do differently. And so fortunately, thank God with those skills, thank God I didn't outsource that for a crazy amount of money, which a lot of people do. You can outsource your website building, sure. It's gonna cost you thousands of dollars. And so I decided to avoid that and do it myself. Thank God I'll be able to actually get started on this, which just takes time away from everything else I've been working on. It's just like this road to 100,000 subscribers, it has been so difficult. It's like obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. This is one of the moments that makes entrepreneurship even less glamorous than it already is. I don't even know what to say right now. And I couldn't cancel my hair appointment. It felt really bad. My hairstylist was already on the way. Gas prices are super high. I just, I just could not even do that. I know how it is when people cancel on you and you're expecting a paycheck. So I was like, I'm not gonna do that. This is the big part of my hair. Honestly, it's not bad at all, but I just want this to blend a little bit more. And I got my extensions. You can see the color is a little bit different and I want it to blend. So Sophie is going to tone my hair to be more this color. My family locked me out of the house. I was super excited about getting my hair done and then knew I would be just locked out. So I decided to walk. I don't know, it took me like an hour. Sometimes people are just mean, mean for no reason. And it's hurtful. And I don't know why, but it encourages me to be nice for no reason, especially to strangers. Cause you just don't know how somebody's being treated. And I feel like it, it makes a big difference. Today is a much better day than yesterday. Crisis averted, I figured out how to reconnect my website. So apparently there was an issue between the domain, whatever, provider, and then the hosting service. And I don't even understand all the terminology, but oh my gosh, I was panicking and I, was, I went through so many help articles and text friends and finally was able to reconnect it, so thank God. And today is also a great day because Joann's, they're having a sale. You know, I love sewing and there might be something that I need there. I love crafting, I love sewing, and Joann's is, it's wonderful for that. Oh my gosh, they have little outfits for the dogs. Look at I literally dream of these mats, but look at this, 89. I wonder if I can get them on cheaper on Amazon or something. I couldn't quite find what I was looking for, so I'm gonna check Daiso. Daiso? If anybody wants to let me know how to pronounce that, that'd be great. So hopefully they'll have what I'm looking for at a lower cost. If not, I think I might have to get the ones at Joann's. We'll see. This week, I could not find one of my favorite matte lip glosses, but I did find right now this 
LA Color Matte Gloss. And I know some people are particular when it comes to lip products, but sometimes you find a gem. So I'm just going to give this one a shot. It's $2. It's matte. LA Colors Matte. And this looks like something that I would wear. This is in the color Daydream. These gel insoles that stick to your shoes are a lifesaver for heels. I found what I was looking for. These wonderful stackable cases that I store my eyelashes in, but you can store other beauty products in them as well. They're so useful to create your own travel size items. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent under eye brightening powder very carefully. And I'm gonna grab one of my little cases here. I don't wanna lose product. I just take this, close it up, got a new powder puff, top it off. Oh my gosh, and I am good to go. This one's almost half the size. My Derma Blend, it's gonna make an even bigger difference. You can see as well that they're about the same size. The Derma Blends are just a little bit wider. Next, I'm gonna try to make my own travel size bronzer. So I'm taking this Hoola bronzer. The first thing I'm gonna do, which seems really terrible, is I'm just grabbing this knife and I am going to, I'm gonna cut this out. I just did this and I am going to break this apart first. Make the product as fine as you can. Now I'm just gonna scoop this out. Here we have a travel case, which is packed. Get a little bit of rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in there. You're just gonna mix this around, make sure you don't lose the product on the edges. So it's gonna look something like this when you're done. Now you just leave this out to dry. And if you just leave it out for a day, it should be done within 24 hours, maybe sooner, depending on how much you're mixing. And then you're ready to go. Here's your travel size product. This is the $2 matte lip color, and guess what? I feel like it's such a fun summer color. It's kind of like a coral a little bit. Now I know why it was the last one. I am so thankful I got to try it, and now I will be on the lookout for it. I might go back. The color, by the way, very accurate. It looks just like, just like it does from the tube. I'm about to show you a holy grail product. You know I love thrifting if you watch the channel, and a lot of things that I thrift, I will pick up even if there is a small stain on them. That's usually the reason that they got donated. This. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I don't know if you ever looked at $1.99. You can get this at dollar stores. I'm not really sure where else. Maybe it's on Amazon. No idea, but I have been using this for years and this gets out so many difficult stains that nothing else works on. So I'm gonna kind of experiment right now to show you. And Tanner spilled on it from one of my trips. I'm gonna try to rinse this out. You can see that I got most of this out, right? and there's still discoloration right there in the center. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of this. Yeah, that little stain in the middle, it's gone. Something bit my face, not once, but twice. I, I it itches. Okay, I'm gonna show you something I used to do in high school and I don't know why, but I was like, yeah, maybe I'll do it this summer again. I'm gonna try it out. So I'm taking these little short lashes, okay? Got these for about $2. The swap me i showed you and then i'm getting the ardell lash tight dark adhesive this stuff kind of smells like nail polish this is not your normal lash glue this is not like the lash glue that you use for strip lashes and then you pull them off at the end of the night no absolutely not this is more of like a semi-permanent glue it's not going to hold as much as like a, a lash extension that you get professionally done but it's going to hold longer than other things really you should get ones of different lengths if you want it to blend really well and so i'm just going to grab this and then i am going to gonna dip the end and just put this in there. Trust the process. Yeah, I don't think the black lash glue looks bad. And basically though, I mean, these will stay for days. Oh my gosh, I think though they're looking so cute. Here's my natural. And then here's my little fake ones. They're gonna look cute. By the way, this glue, I got it on Amazon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them dry and then I'll add a little mascara. Look at my little lashes. I didn't do the best job. It takes a little while to get the hang of it, but I like them because they're just this nice little enhancement and they're waterproof. And then also I want to show you yesterday. So here is my completed little palette thing. So here is the Hoola bronzer. So you can see Hoola bronzer. So that is my little travel makeup hack. I'm at Tri-City Park and I found, this is so cute. Look at this. It's a little outdoor workout station body weight. Okay. 
I'm heavier than you would think. All right, well, I didn't plan to do this type of workout today. I planned for a very brisk walk, so we're not gonna be getting into the weights today. The other really cool thing I just learned is this side, okay? You can see, it's like our standard lat pull down, I think. This side is wheelchair enabled, so you can put a wheelchair here and everybody can work out. I love that. That, see, see? That is the coolest thing. What are you doing? Is that what that's for? Uh -huh. You just push yourself yeah. out? That's it. What'd you get, coconut? No. I mean, that sounds good. I haven't They don't my favorite anymore. They're not the special. I'm very classic today to chocolate and vanilla. That's it. And I want chocolate. So, oh, oh my gosh, these little bubbly first things. Oh, I just want little chocolate chips. So happy. For the price of two yogurt lands, that's how much one cold stone would have cost us at the mall. And I was like, you know what? No, I'm not having it. It's locked. Are you ready for snack? Do you want to eat it right now? Did you? So what I'm trying to figure out. Thank you. Those are so beautiful. Oh my god. We are back. We're back at the swap meet. I'm loving my hat. Oh yes. Ooh, that looks so good. Got some uh, some flautas today, which is almost like a taquito, but it's softer, so I like it. But it's also not as soft as an enchilada, so it's a little different. Try them. I came outside for my international fans because it's 4th of July today and I don't know if you can hear the fireworks behind me and so I just wanted to share with you what it's like in the US on 4th of July. <laughs> It goes on like this for hours and hours and hours and it's it's like kind of smoky outside right now and it smells like sulfur and yeah this is how we this is how we celebrate this is what we do every city and every neighborhood is a little bit different in some cities in some areas in some places it's illegal to have fireworks because of the fire hazards and in other cities, you can have as many as you want. And then in some cities, it's illegal and people do it anyways. So, <laughs> it just kind of depends. But here, it's legal. So you can have as many fireworks as you want. Normally, I'm, I'm right there with everybody, lighting them up, and I usually go to a 4th of July party. But I got really set back this week because of the whole website going down and Miss Super Nationals going on. So I just uploaded an episode for that and I fly out in the morning. <laughs> so I'm going to take you on that adventure.